I hope you enjoyed the fringe meeting. My name is Fabien Albino. I'm a postdoc at the University of Bristol, and today I'm going to present our work about using Sentinel-1 in cell data for the real-time monitoring of volcanic ground deformation inside from the East African Rift system. First, the context of the East African Rift. It's an active continental rift zone with 80 active volcanoes in three regions, Afa, Main Ethiopian Rift, and Kenya Tanzania Rift. The area has poor ground monitoring, and then the objective of the study is to use inside data to produce automatically time series and the detection of volcanic unrest, and to support the ground monitoring of these volcanoes. To do so, we use Sentinel 1 SAR dataset. With the LIXAR system, we produce automatically the interferograms over 13 descending frames for the period 2015-2020. You can see the frame here on the map. And it's about 4,000 interferograms. Here on the left, I present the flowchart that I use to produce automatically the time series and the detection of unrest. And I did some different improvements. So for example, here, the estimation of the phase elevation correlation you have an example on the Silali volcano of an interferogram that shows a high correlation between the phase and the elevation. We use this empirical model to correct the interferogram for certain volcanoes. And what we did is a statistic analysis of all the air square, of the air square for all the interferogram for each volcano, which is the line you see here on the right. So here you see that blue line show volcanoes with low correlation and red light with high correlation. And these high correlation volcanoes will be the one that we corrected. And they are located here on the map. You see on the margin of the rift system. It's because the phase evaluation is higher due to the border fault and the plateau relief. Here I show the results of our detection. So I plot here the signal amplitude located around the volcanic center as a function of the temporal noise, which is the standard deviation of the time series outside the volcanic centers. And you see that there is a low amplitude over noise ratio for a large number of volcanoes below 3 sigma. And the high values are only selected, really, uh, found for six uh, volcanic centers that are related to ground deformation signals. So I show one of them here at Gadale. You see a subsidence on the rim of the lake Karum with a rate about 2 cm a year. And this is interesting because this signal was already reported in 93-96 by Volkham Lung, where they show like 4 cm per year displacement on, the, on this area. It's worth noting that now we have a better data set. There was only 3 interferograms at that time, and now we have uh, every 12 days a point for the time series analysis, so we have a better idea of the dynamic. Then we move on to the main Ethiopian rift, and we see already also six ground deformation signals. One of them is Tulumoye. It's an elongated signal between Tulumoye, Berisha, and Bora. The unrest starts around 2016 with a high rate about 6 cm a year, before decay about 2 cm a year in the late 2019. This exponential decay is uh, an indication of a uh, magma transport between a uh, deep and a uh, shallow source. Then in the Kenya Tanzania Rift, there is two signal over the 3 sigma amplitude of a noise ratio. And uh, one of them is Suswa. So Suswa shows a circular signal inside the crater with an unrest starting in mid 2018 in both ascending and descending. And we have the same pattern. Um, that show probably that the signal involves a spherical source located in the below the summit. We also do like uh, the automatic detection of unrest with some different algorithm, QSUM, ICASA, and machine learning. I don't have time to go into detail of the techniques, and you can read this paper if you want to. But here's an example for the Erta Ali case with a ROM displacement during the intrusion in 2017. You see that all the algorithm in the probability of deformation uh, get higher around this date of 2017. So we are pretty confident we can use these uh, techniques to detect 
automatically ground unrest, and we did that for a couple of signals. To summarize, from our survey from 2015-2020, we detected 14 ground deformation signals, and they are related to very different processes. So some of them are related to dike intrusion, other restless caldera, um, the others lava flow subsidence or deformation following the eruption and intrusion, and also pore pressure changes related to hydrothermal or geothermal system. Here you see like a snapshot of all the ground deformation signal we detected. Thank you very much.